Today I want to talk about releasing burdens and a burden is something very heavy that's on your mind and something you want to get rid of. I'm sorry that I'm outside I just decided to do it out here for a different environment and stuff like that. I um, just want to try it out. A burden is something that's very constantly holding you down in not a good way. Either it's loss, self-doubt, anything like that, anything you're carrying that is not a good positive look on you. Dealing with either loss or either like relationships or anything like that can definitely cause you a lot of pain. The best way to deal with it is to release burdens and a way to release it uh, is very positive. From my personal experience, what I do I write down all my thoughts in a book. I've talked about this before, but it's something that really helps people say it. But once you actually do it, it helps so much. It's it's really good because it, whatever you're feeling right now, you put it straight into the book. You don't you don't have to think about it. It's it's your raw notes. It's your raw ideas going on in your head. Anything going on, you write it into a book, it, and then you look back on it and you see what you're really feeling in that moment, which is really important to releasing all of that people work out a lot uh, you can lift weights anything like that cardio walking running having a really good mindset as well if you guys want to know about more of the, the mindset go check out my last video about it but the mindset is what really is the main thing of everything going on releasing burdens people the main thing is coming to terms with it. Say you have a girl or a boy you're dating and they break up with you or they, they cheat on you or they find someone better or anything like that, anything like that going on. The best way to kind of get over that is accepting that that happened. You don't want to uh, you don't want to be like, oh, there's, there's no way I want to I want to have a second chance. And it's, it's always, especially in my personal experience, it's, it's not always good to go back to what hurt you. It's not good to go back to that negative energy and then have that onto you again. It's not always good to do that. Uh, but yeah, come to terms with it. Accept that she's gone, that he's gone. And accept that you deserve better. That's a big one, accept that you deserve better. It's always good to have good opinions about yourself. You may have, you may see a new pimple forming, or uh, you have hair growing in unwanted places like puberty and stuff like that. But it's always good to see the good in you, and that's also good for your mindset as well. It's good to know what you're capable of, what you know from past experiences, and how you're going to carry that on to future experiences but coming to terms with all bad that has happened and knowing what is what the other person's capable of. They're capable of telling you they're a good person, telling you, uh, I would never do that, or all of the above, and you just met them. Accept what you know and how to handle situations in the future. Say, it, say the same thing happens again with another person you're in love with and they do the same thing as your ex did or whoever you're last talking to just you know you know now that it, to be honest not everybody is trustworthy as much as you trust that person as much as you've known them two weeks one month one year you don't know what they're capable of doing you don't know what they're capable of doing and that's that's always very but it's always a very confusing thing that's very confusing you don't know what somebody's capable of and if you want to make everything right, you gotta you gotta give them what you know. You gotta give them your wisdom, your intelligence. You gotta you gotta tell them how you feel. Tell them how you feel. Do not hold yourself accountable. Do not let all your burdens stay deep inside of you. You need to release that. It's not good to keep it in. Uh, you could talk to family, friends, a uh, counselor, school counselor. Um, a teacher, someone you're talking to, um, and if they don't accept the way you're feeling, leave. Because if you don't have that wisdom, if you don't have that 
that intelligence of knowing what's right and wrong, that intelligence of knowing what's good for you, you gotta leave. It's the easiest way, it's the easiest way. Even if they're the most handsome or most beautiful looking person, who cares, that, that does not mean they're attractive. Physically, they might be attractive, but like mentally, they're not attractive at all. And that's, that's the worst thing. You can definitely heal. Healing isn't an impossible thing. It's a very possible thing. You just need to know how to heal. Um, yeah, if we write down, not even in your notes, just like grab like a notebook or something, write anything down, anything. As soon as you start to feel negative thoughts in your head, don't hesitate to write what you're thinking.